right, episode 34. <laughs> um, recap attack. Uh, so yeah, yeah. This is a second video episode. Hopefully, it won't go as long because um, it took me forever. Yeah, it was really long. Out. It was very long. Because uh, it was too long. The first one was way too long. Yeah, so we're gonna aim for for thirty five minutes. That's what I think is a good number. So I we got the, the clock. I think we had a clock last time, too. Yeah, well, we, we didn't look at it. <laughs> it's different. Oh, okay. Right, so, um, but this time, we're looking at it. We're aware. I see it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm Mayor. Sergio. Yeah. And uh, let's just get into it. We got, we got well, so we're, we're really late this week. Or early for next week. Yeah. So... However you want to deal with that. But anyway, I want to start with Susan G. Komen and Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. They pulled the, Susan G. Komen, the breast cancer. Right, they right. Pulled their, their money, their funding mm -hmm. from Planned Parenthood. I heard about this. Yeah. But didn't they freak out and go, wait, wait, just kidding? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that happened. <laughs> yeah, but they did it because I'm like, I'm like, oh. They they do abortions. Okay, we can't we can't be funding abortions. And what's hilarious about it is like Planned Parenthood like very little of what they do is abortions. Right. I think like one percent of what they do is abortion. And everything else is like, you need condoms, here's birth control, here's doctors that you can talk to that can help you, here's how uh, you know, you can get your your life on track if you want to put your kid up for adoption you know good shit information that people need and just like uh as i think they do testing for like hiv and right well no all around they do really good things yeah and i don't think they should have pulled the funding no and so it's, crazy. Crazy. it's gonna happen but i found this this comic explains it very well no it's oh. uh it's actually like a douche uh, so, yeah, it's talking well, about, uh, basically saying that they're just aborting, that Planned Parenthood just aborts babies left and right. That's not true. Uh, it, uh, Only left. It got a lot of, uh, got a lot of buries on mm -hmm. big, but it, it still managed to, the thing with that is I never know if people are are upping it because they're like, people need to see this comic because it's fucking awful. <coughs> or if that many people have actually dug it up because they like it. Right. Hard reading the comments, it sounded like no one liked it. Right. But. Yeah. So they, they gave the funding back though, right? They're, yeah, they're, they're going to, they're going to do it or they already did it or something. Hmm. They're like, oh, this is a mistake because everyone's like, you can't fucking take money from Planned Parenthood. It's planned parenthood. Yeah. Plan that shit. Not plan abortion. Plan abortions. Um. <clears throat> Fun but, Parks? Yeah. What's that? Fun Parks is this thing where they wouldn't let this girl on a ride at Universal or at SeaWorld mm -hmm. because she didn't have hands. Right. Okay, and therefore she could not hold the bars when she's going on the coaster. Yeah, but you're strapped in, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. The regulation says you have to be able to hold oh, I see. the bar okay. uh, because it's a liability for them. And they're like trying to sue. And it's like, fuck you. It's a liability. The, the thing says you have to be able to hold on to it. Right. It doesn't matter that you can like grip with stumps. It's designed for hands. Right. And sorry, it's like, you don't have hands. No, I get that. Yeah. It, it's one of those things that you just can't do anymore. I mean, it's like when you don't have legs, sorry. Well, she was like, you can't born run. without hands or something. When you're born without legs, you can't run. Exactly. It's, and it's one of those things. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it, 
it, yeah, it's it, true. And it's like they mentioned like this other time a uh, place got like sued because they let uh, a soldier uh -huh. who had his legs amputated mm -hmm. onto a roller coaster and he was fucking thrown from it because he had no fucking legs, right. no support. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and so they're like, well, we can't fucking do that. Exactly. Okay, because yeah. they're like, like ah, oh, he's a, he's a full grown adult. So they're like, yet yeah, even though the thing's designed. With the assumption you have legs, right? And two, because of his amputation, he was uh, smaller than the height requirement, right? But they're like, he's an adult, he's a soldier, it's cool, and it's like, no, it's not. He's been through worse. No, he died. <laughs> you don't survive being thrown from a roller coaster. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. Depends on how how you were. Have you seen the ones that come down and the people right when it goes like this, some people are just like thrown into like the the grass area down there and they die because they're being thrown so fast. No, no, they only break things. Depends on where it is on the roller coaster. Break their life, <laughs> and, and then that's called but death. I've seen it. Y you've seen it? No, but <laughs> I've seen it in a simulation I played through in my head, <laughs> and it worked out. And right. it worked out all right because. Yeah. You know, because it was like uh, you know, like cartoons. The grass was all spongy. And it bounced them a little bit, and like wee. No, no, no. They, they broke some legs. Wee. <laughs> See, the thing is, they broke all the legs in their body, but they were okay. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I just I read that, and they're like, "Fuck, fuck Universal, fuck Sea World. How dare they not understand?" It's like you can't do that. It, it sucks. It. it definitely sucks, but it's one of the things you can't do. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, you're born without legs, you can't run. You can't You can't be a marathon runner if you don't have legs. Yeah. It's just I mean, a thing. You can be a marathon with a, a roller. Yeah, definitely. You can I do mean, that. You can do that. I mean, that, it's still hard. But it's not running. It's not running. Sorry. I mean, I, I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck, but if I lost a leg, it's like, well, I can't run. I mean, maybe I can get one of those bionic legs. You can't run with them. Not well. I mean, I can't outrun. If you're double amputee, you can't run with, with fake legs. Yeah, you can. But it's not very easy. Now that they, I've seen, though. They, they don't like, they don't bend. <laughs> have no... No, that I've seen, though. I've seen a, w, a double amputee run with those things. It'd be like... <laughs> no, you're <not laughs> fucking stiff. <laughs> Damn it, I'm here. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what I do. <laughs> Chopsticks it's fucking not, going down. They're not the first season of South Park. <laughs> <laughs> they don't bend. Yes, they do. They make them that bend. Uh, and then there's people that do it. You want to say it's just my leg. Otherwise, because don't oh, yeah, right, right. be fucking anything. <laughs> be two years gone. No, no. It, now that I've seen. Double IBT leg running. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Now that I've seen, I've seen people do it. it. It's not graceful, and you'll never outrun anybody, but I've seen the double amputee. No, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, see, I've seen them. It was on the Discovery Channel, or the yeah, History it's the first Channel. first one. Brave double amputee gets new legs. All right, well, I was going to say this one. Katie Sullivan. Look, check it out. All right. Load that shit. I don't know if this was the one. I remember her having shoes on. Oh, I'm sorry. Never in the world, in my life, did I ever think I would be running this. See? That's <laughs> all <laughs> it is! That's all it is! Called it! Called it! She's got the wrong legs on. <laughs> yeah, she's got the wrong legs. Anyway, no, okay. I've seen them that bend. I've seen them that bend. Hers, hers, hers was made stupid. Whoever designed them for... I don't think she thinks they're stupid. I'm telling you. Maybe it's this guy. Double check this. One more. One more. And what the hell is this bullshit? Oh, it's not designed for this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one more, and then we'll we'll move on. The the top one, man. All right, we'll try the top one. And then we'll move on here. I don't see her running though. This is she's just like walking around. It says running legs. <laughs> well, 
this hair. It's so pretty. Just see, like, see how they bend like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a runner that has them bend like that. And it didn't look like that woman. <laughs> Let's move a little forward to the running. There's, there's got to be some running. Okay, here we go. Saturday, her family held a fundraiser at the Antiques Mall where they run their nonprofit organization to raise money for that gym membership. Insurance will pay for the legs. A $750 annual fee that will help this little girl grow. Wow, look at those ponies, Grandma. $750 annual? That's a good deal. Yeah. That's, that's totally like doable. That's not even like a thing. Yeah. I just don't see her running. Well, fuck it. Well, Point is, they make the ones that bend. <laughs> it isn't this. The, yeah, that but she was just, still kind of. Well, no, she's definitely wobbly. wobbly but no, they they bend. They, they okay, so it's a little bit more like. <laughs> it, it works though. It works a lot better. Like I said, you'll never outrun anybody. Uh, you'll never really for now. For now. Until they put rocket jets in them. Until you get the legs like they had in Star Fox, you're not gonna outrun anybody. Yeah. But they do bend. Exactly. Okay. But yeah, moving on. Uh, so this one. Oh, I, I like this was one. Interesting. I like this one. Uh, I haven't. Heard we haven't really any more followed up. Yeah. Yeah. But. Right. So. Uh, company, was it a porn studio? Mm -hmm. Was it is, Vivid? No, no, it wasn't uh -huh. Vivid. A porn studio is suing uh, this woman. It's Hard Drive Productions. Hmm. Suing this woman because they're claiming that she downloaded uh, Amateur Allure Gen on BitTorrent, which, you know what, let's just look that up. All right. Amateur. Amateur Lure does all the uh, the blowjob videos. Oh really? They do a lot of them, yeah. And they have they're like, we gotta use this special camera. What for what? Makes it to make it look pretty and like. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious. We gotta use a special camera to make it look pretty. I, I'm gonna guess it's Jennifer White. I just don't understand what special camera makes it look pretty. It looks like normal. I don't see anything different. Did they turn up the bloom? They yeah. Does it have HDR bloom? They just they, they use a lot of soft whites. So it's an iPhone. <laughs> they use an iPhone. And it, but not necessarily, because look at all the light fixtures they have around there. So it could just be the light bouncing off all, all of white walls. It doesn't even necessarily mean it's the special camera. That's true. Although, she's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, oh, look, see, she's, she's incorporated a bit of the balls. All right. Um, see, so she knows what she's doing. Okay, so, so so this woman supposedly, supposedly downloaded, downloaded this video. Downloaded, this, I think, this video. Okay. Okay, uh, and she's like, well, one, I didn't do it. Right. Two, I have open Wi-Fi. Anybody could have could have done that. Right. Okay, you have no evidence that it was me. Mm -hmm. okay. And they're like, oh, that's bullshit. You want us to go away, pay us... We'll, we'll sue you for up to hundred fifty thousand, but we'll make this all go away for thirty four hundred. That's we'll not, that. That's not even. That sounds stupid. That's like. Yeah. They're they're like hassling her. Yeah, they're like we'll settle for thirty four hundred. We'll call it evens, but if you don't, we're fucking suing you for hundred fifty thousand. So she gets her lawyer, mm -hmm. and he's like, he's gonna argue. One, you can't prove it was her. Right. Okay. Two. Okay, it could have been anyone that's open Wi-Fi, therefore you can't fucking say anything. Can't find him. 
can't find the person. <coughs> Three, they're going to claim that you can't actually sue someone for stealing, well, for making copies of porn because porn, by nature, is not copyrightable. Which is the crazy part because right. you think any intellectual property, you can copyright it. Right. But no, the way the law is written is that the cop copyrights exist to protect anything that will move, that will benefit uh, science or the arts right. forward. So you know you can you can patent this, you can patent a design, a, right. okay, a, like a a structure, a type of design you use to build make a building. You can patent this shit. Yep. Okay. But you can't <coughs> patent porn because porn is not found to be. I, it's not a science, right. nor is it deemed by society to be an art. Right. Okay, it's not like some artistic nudes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's just fucking. <laughs> right, exactly. It doesn't pretend to be anything else. And therefore, you can't copyright it, and if you can't copyright it, you can't say that there was any... Uh, that any laws are broken. Any laws are broken because she made a copy, but it's free to make the copy. Right. Because you can do anything you want with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So is this law like nationwide, or is it like in the state? No, no, that, that's that's that's, that's that's the copyright law. Okay. Okay. Because I know sometimes some states have some, you know. No, cop crap. copyright laws have to be. Right. Okay. Yeah, have to be uh, everywhere, like globally. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you you know, you could have uh, Edison with the patent for the light bulb here, but the guy who actually invented the light bulb could still have the patent there. Right. Okay. But, well, yeah. But, yeah, but first off, it's just when they say, oh, we'll make it go away from we'll 3400 just sounds like, now you're just picking on me. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it's interesting. I want to see what's going to happen. I, I do and I don't want them to find that you can't copyright porn. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I don't want them to find it so, because then, you know, porn will just be even more, like, readily available. Because it already pretty much is. You can go anywhere. It pretty much already is, but <clears throat> you'll be able to pretty much find anything. Like all the all these uh, like red tube U porn sites will just fucking have the video, the full videos because it's like they can't. No one can say, "Hey, take this down." Someone uploaded the full video, uh, whatever. And they're like, "Who gives a fuck?" You yeah. know, there's no copyright on it. Exactly. It doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, it's unfortunate, leaked out, too fucking bad. Right. But, uh, so that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. But then... People stop making good porn? Yeah, I mean, because what the fuck doesn't matter anymore. It's, right. You get a bunch of that amateur shit popping up now. Which is fine, like, I like some of it, mm -hmm. but... You like the production value. You, you like that iPhone. I don't want... The 4S they were using. <laughs> I don't want, like... I, I don't want us like a story. I don't want pirates. Right, right. I just I don't want it to look like it was done with someone's webcam. Right. No, I get it. Okay. I get that. That's it. Yeah. I don't. I don't even even need it to be in HD because sometimes HD looks fucking nasty. Yeah, I've we've seen a couple videos which I thought was funny where it's like, okay, this is nice. Hey, there's an HD button. You click it and you're like, oh. Yeah. I'm I'm out of the mood now. <laughs> yeah. Because it just shows all the. Horrible details. Yeah, and it's disgusting. It's just like, oh, the, the, the little imperfections that were hidden away. You're like, oh, man, she's fucking used and worn. Yeah, it's and pretty it's, bad. And it's just like, oh. Pretty bad. It's funny. Funny as hell, but pretty bad. It, not, yeah, it's, it, it's hilarious to watch, but it's not if you want to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> just, like you're all getting in the mood, you're like, oh, shit, HD. Oh. Uh, if you, want to, if you want to prolong your session, you switch to HD. <laughs> right. You're like, oh, you go soft for a little bit, find something else. Maybe it's kind of like, you know, the Rage comic where it's like, okay. Mm. Okay, fine. There's no going back. I can only find much. this in HD. Oh, maybe do. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll pretend this masturbation is fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, yeah, so... We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. I mean, 
Who knows? Who knows how it'll affect things? But, uh, the ball's on the woman, though. To be like, you suing me? Fuck you! I'm gonna, di like, destabilize your entire right. industry. Well, the thing is, I think... <laughs> okay, I like, think more so, I think I'm in the same mindset of, I'm just insulted at the point to where it's like, we'll make this go away for 34. It's like, you are you guys are assholes. They're, they're, uh, they're trolls. Exactly. Okay, that's, that's what they're doing. It's the equivalent of being a, a patent troll. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, oh, there's a story I should add, but, uh... Maybe, maybe I'll mention it briefly. I haven't read okay. up on it to, uh, right. to discuss it, though. Okay. Um, but, yeah. It, it's really a shady thing. And I'm really kind of surprised that no one's questioned, to my knowledge, anyway, no one's questioned the idea of, can you actually copyright porn? Because they, they, I think they went, like, it's a movie. You can copyright a movie. Right, and but, they're, like, good enough. Yeah. Because you go to certain sites, and then they do have copyrights on their logos and stuff like that. But it, I mean, you can have a copyright on the on the logo, the name. Right, that the makes imagery. sense. But I'm, but I'm saying, like, when when people see that, they go, "Oh, the whole thing is, you know, it, it's got to be. It just makes right. sense, you know." Right, and, again, and they can have licenses on the use of the pictures of all their mm -hmm. actresses and everything. It's just the actual scene. It's like, well, that's just people having sex. You're not this. No one's been like. <clears throat> We're like, oh, we gotta get to space. Better, better get those blowjobs and uh, ass fuckings out here. <laughs> well, I, I think the only way to do it is if you like copyright someone's look. I, you can't. But you can't do that. Yeah, you can't. You, you technically. You can can't. trademark. Uh, you can trademark a look, I think. See, but then they gotta hold the look the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Which is gonna be extremely yeah. awkward. <laughs> it, it's like uh was it you start getting porns where like people are like posed but they're just like having sex <laughs> but they're not moving they're like you can't show any emotion now okay no it's like like one like trademarks like the mad i'm just matching the Mad Men look so it's like 19 uh like 50s style everything's all fancy and the woman's just like there but she's being fucked in the ass <laughs> and she's just like yep this is all happening right now she like switches sides. Yep, nope, not allowed. Only, <laughs> only patent the look. Well, they patent the look, not okay, not the exact. Story. No, the like, everything. Pose. Yeah, no, the strict yeah, pose. The trademark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like the moment, like she lets her hair down. It looks like to be from any yep. any generation. Doesn't matter now. Doesn't it? Doesn't matter. But as long as she she keeps like that that dress on and her hair up that way. Go Good to go. Go right. at it. <laughs> I'd watch a Mad Men porn. Because there'd be someone to be the, the Christina Hendricks character. You'd hope. Uh, the, how can you not? I'm also alright with January Jones, but I, I prefer Christina Hendricks. It's just her name. Hendricks. No, January. Oh. It's weird to me. It's weird, and she's a terrible actress. She was in X Men First Class. See, I still haven't seen that. Yeah, she's, uh, she's the weak point in the movie. <laughs> She, great she phones it in. She phones it on every performance, he, except Mad Men, but not because she's, like, trying to do well. It's because they... They, they beat her. No, it's because <laughs> they pretty much told her, like, hey, we're going to have you save, like, one or two lines per episode, and you're going to be really kind of awkward about it, so your bad acting's hidden. And then when you have more lines, we're just going to make you a cunt. So just come in on your period. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, that's, it worked out, so, yeah, but, uh, she, she was, uh, who was she in X-Men First Class? She was that woman who could turn into diamonds. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't ring. Frost, Emma Frost. Yeah. I'm lost on that one. Here, I'll show you. Alright. Emma <laughs> Frost. So... Did she look like that? She tried. She got kind of close. Mm, that's a terrible outfit. It just doesn't even look close to what... They're know. not... Well, this was in one scene. She immediately was, like, more naked for uh, <laughs> other parts of the movie. 
that was just in one. Well, I mean, it's not even like the naked. Like, it just doesn't look right. Like, there's closer hmm. to it. I think they should have gotten someone else. But she, uh, like I said, she phoned it in. Hmm. All right. I saw that you have something about Jack and Daxter here. Okay, yeah, this is more just me bitching because Naughty Dog was going to make a new Jack and Daxter. Was badass games. Yeah. They were fun. I only played the first one, though, but I watched you play the other two. Uh, yeah, I played all three. Loved the series. Right. <clears throat> Amazing. I was like, oh, I want another one. But then they decided, uh, oh, fuck that. We're not, we're not doing that. Oh. But they were going to make one. They were like, we should make another Jack and Daxter for the PS3. And I was like, yes. I mean, I don't own a PS3, but... But you know what? what? I can kind of see it. I mean, all the, all the consoles are starting to hit the end of their life. So if they're gonna do it, maybe they should do it as like a, a really good launch title. It's gonna be one of those things. No, where it's well, like, no, because the PS3 says that it's only halfway. Sony says they they keep going back and forth though. We we both heard oh we're not done yet, and then we've also heard um we we're done. I haven't heard we're done. I've heard we're done. No, they they've been saying we're going for a ten year cycle, and they only hit the five year mark. Did they only hit the five year mark? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They have. It's been longer than that, hasn't no, it? No, not really. Maybe six. But it's at its half. It's at its half. Well, okay, the Xbox though too. We all know that the 720 is coming out, but aren't they still going for the 10 year mark as well? Uh, no, next, not this year. Next year they're gonna announce it. So that eight year run, right there. Hmm. Hmm. Something like that. They, they had a really good run. Yeah. They they figured it's it's time they can kind of leapfrog everything and they can kind of integrate because they want Connect to be a thing. So they're right. gonna really like. The next one's gonna include Connect as like part of it. It's that's what it is. I can't wait either so. way. But yeah, this sucks that they're not, they're not gonna make one though. Yeah. Like at all then, because it, I could see it as like a next generation thing, because then it would have been like, hey, we've been gone for a while. Check this out. I just wish Naughty Dog would like they're. I think they're part of Sony mm -hmm. uh, Computer Entertainment. Uh, I wish they would be able to make something for the Xbox. They make good games. Naughty Dog makes good games. Mm -hmm. But, uh... No, they're probably... Yeah, like you said, they're just... They're, they're, they're part of, uh... Sort of Computer Entertainment America. Naughty Dog was the same... They were the same people that did Crash Bandicoot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh... Um, that's why, yeah. That's, that's what it is. And Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Which are and also pretty good games. I never finished they them, They did... Did they do Uncharted? I don't think they did Uncharted. Because I know Naughty Dog, like, split up. Yeah, Uncharted yeah, 3. Uncharted. Wow. They split up because Insomnia, like, part of them became Insomnia. Insomnia mm -hmm. now makes uh, Ratchet and Clank. I see. But it was originally the same studio. Mm -hmm. okay. But wow, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know Naughty Dog made that. Yeah. I, did, they, did they just make the third one, or did they make all three? It looks like they made all three, because they're Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, Uncharted yeah. 2, Among Thieves, and Uncharted 3. Because I, I only played Uncharted 2. I loved it. Everyone told me not to play Uncharted 1. Really? I heard it was good. I heard it was good, but they're like, no, just play 2. Because by the time I got to it, it was like, here, just play 2. You'll love it a lot more. Yeah. And I did. I played it at my friend Jeremy's house uh, during breaks when I used to work at Yoshimatsu. And uh, that was cool. Yeah. It was fun. Apparently the third one is, like, amazing. That's what I hear. I just wanted Nathan Fillion back. Back? Wasn't he the voice? No, he what never was. Who the hell was then? A guy who sounds nothing like Nathan Fillion. Really? I thought it was totally him. No. Well, he I wanted to it. be Nathan Fillion in the uh, movie, but they planned to Wow, I, I went through the whole game going, this is great. Yeah, no, <laughs> they, they, no it's not Nathan Fillion. It's I could have sworn the guy who does, like, the guy who did his voice is the guy who did, um, for like two two or three years, he did every video game character's voice. Sean Shovel? <laughs> I, uh, shit, I can't remember. They have it. I knew you have video games, right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where's the uh, original one? Drake's Fortune. Nolan North. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And he did all the other ones too. Oh, this guy. I know this guy. Okay. He just does all all games. Yeah. Okay. So he he has my job that I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that asshole. <clears throat> look, look, 
He's in everything. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't make a game anymore without him. And he was in Rage too. Wow. Portal Two. He's space, space Core, space core yeah. the Fact Core, the Adventure Core. I get that he was the adventure core because he was essentially just like saying lines from right. him. But, uh, yeah, he's in everything. Yeah. Can, he, I, can he's, escape him. He's doing what I want to do. I don't know how to get into this. I, like, I, I'm guessing it's just like acting. Veronica right? Belmont did some voice acting. Yeah, but she doesn't count. You know why? Why? Because she's already got a presence. Because she's hot. Well, yeah, she's already got a presence. It's like... It's Apparently, like, she... She didn't do too well, apparently. It doesn't matter though. She was in um uh, she's in the DLC for New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas. She's in the, the DLC as a uh, Too bad New Vegas was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. But she's uh she plays these she plays a sexy light switch. It's like an actual light switch. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. And uh and a suit. Hmm. That you wear. Well, I assume that you wear the suit. Gives you status updates. Uh, but they're not the same character. Right. The, the only problem is they sound exactly the same. Right. Because she can't, she's like, I can't do, my voice is my voice. There's no other one. So do your voice. Like, but, if yeah, I, if the I thing were is, to do it, if and, I'm the fancy light switch. Well, the thing is, there was two light switches. One was her. And the thing is, one was supposed to be kind of a, a nerdy, geeky light switch. Mm -hmm. Which was not her. Okay. Yeah, which I think is funny because she's right. She's yeah. She's the nerdy geeky. Yeah, the other one, which was her, was supposed to be the very sexual one. Right. Okay. They were like, it's like making advance, like, ooh, yeah, turn me on, <laughs> like that. It's just like, and she's like, it was very awkward because she's like, I have no sexual like ability <laughs> at all. So I was just like, is this is this doing it for anyone? Is this all right? No, they should have made her the other one. It just makes sense. I understand because people want her to talk that way. Yeah. yeah. But it's not... Beautiful girl. Well, yeah, definitely. But it's just not, not going to work out. Yeah. Um, she's, she's definitely made for uh, nerd stuff and fighting vampires. I mean, that's all she does. Fighting vampires? Belmont. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you know, they find... Someone uh, on her show, Game On, mm -hmm. um... Someone mentioned that, made a, a like a joke about that. She's like, "Oh, ha, ha, I've heard that like all my life." Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I assume she did. Yeah, and her co-host uh, Brian Brushwood was like, "Wait, I don't get it." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Castlevania." And he's like, and "He's like, they're the Belmonts. They're they're all the family that hunts the vampires is the Belmonts." He's like, "Oh." He's like, "I didn't know that." And she's, like, <laughs> and she's like, "How did you not know this?" He's like. I didn't play Castlevania growing up, and I haven't bothered to ever visit it. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't play it growing up, and I didn't like visit the game until like very recently. But I knew everything about the series. I, I just because it was it, interesting. I played it growing up. Um, it's, I don't like backtracking games. Well, the first one was all backtrack. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't backtracking. You're thinking of the second one. The first one you had to do a lot of like crawling, but there was no like major backtracking. There was backtracking. There wasn't at no the thing is what you're getting confidence, there wasn't backtracking like to the extreme that, well, if I that Simon's like, Quest had. It, Simon's Quest is like Simon's like, Quest is bullshit. You like run for th for three years yeah. okay, in this direction, and they're like, oh fuck, I forgot like the thing. Right. Okay. That's I never, seven years in that direction. I never finished in the, in the, the second one. In the first one, it's like, oh, I ran over here. Let me backtrack like a minute. Yeah, that's not really backtracking. That's like I, I, I went, like I went, no because I don't like because I don't I remember. Went, I went on this screen. I picked up an item, then I went back to this screen, and I'm good to go. No, because you know, like, that, oh, you see this thing? I'll one day I'll have a power, and I'll let me get through there. I don't remember where that fucking shit is. I don't like it. That's well, why then, I never do the Metroids either. Because no, the, oh, the, you see the that? First Metroid, no fucking clue where that old, where that. The first game. Metroid had way more backtracking than right. Castlevania. That's true, ever. it did, but... Because, like I said, the first Castlevania is like, I went here, now I'm here again. It's like, whatever, you know. Yeah. And then there are some things that are not completely necessary where you go back or, and you're like, oh, I could get that, but, you know, I don't need it to be but the game. The thing is, I don't like those games because I will never remember where I need to go. I, I finished, and I refuse to, like, make myself notes. I, fi I didn't make myself notes. Well, I'm not going to remember I it. I finished the first Metroid... 
uh, also about around the same time. But I did that one by myself. Castlevania, I did it with a friend. We stayed up till like 3 a.m. and we just did it. Yeah. Um, but no, I, when I when I beat the, the first Metroid, it felt like such an accomplishment because I did it myself, and it was amazing. But yeah, there's a lot of backtracking. And the thing is, was crazy is that for whatever reason, I fucking remembered where almost no. everything was. Not and I was like seven. Not going to remember <laughs> it. I just, I won't remember. And what's worse is like, uh, there's no backtracking in Mega Man, but you know, you'll get a power and you'll be like, oh, I can revisit that other level and get some weird shit. Well, like in Mega Man X, you'll get um, like a, an, an upgrade in certain spots. Then yeah. you got to go back to that level to get the other upgrade. But the thing is, those are completely necessary in my opinion. Okay. Uh, we'll never remember it. Really? Yeah, I'll be like... I, I did it like that. Like, I was like, I got the helmet, fuck, I know where to go. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, nah, I fuck it, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I'll clear each level and I have like no upgrades and I'll just, except for what the boss gives you. And I'll be like, well, I guess I'm gonna finish the game and go beat the end guy. It, it's, it's completely so, underpowered. <laughs> it's so hard. It's not impossible. I've seen people do it. But it's so hard that... I, you know how I like going at things sometimes, mm -hmm. like under level, just to be like, Especially yeah, if there's that. if there's a level there's, like there's... With, with water that's set in the sky or it's set in the water, I'm not, I'm especially not going to revisit it. <laughs> I don't, I understand that, but I don't like vis revisiting water levels. But that's more just personal. Yeah, <laughs> I always hated the water or, levels. Or if it's a, or shot. if it's a cold level. I don't mind cold levels. You slip everywhere. It and it's, it's fine when you're like in a game like Sonic where he's just like slipping all over the place anyway. Right. But when you're in a game like Mega Man where it requires like pixel perfect like platforming. I'm cool with it. Fuck that. I'm cool with it. No, I'm not going to I, I, love it. I loved it in Mario too because you know Mario is a little more intricate than Sonic because you have to like kind of time things a little bit more. Yeah. Whereas Sonic when you're in the air and you're spinning you're fucking invincible unless you just fall. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It's like I landed on what five things and I'm still good to go. <laughs> um, but with Mario, when you're on those ice levels, you're like da -da 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 -da, and that just made it feel awesome. No, I, like Mario, I'm, I'm more fine with because I once I get past it, I don't have to do it again. <laughs> but I will never elect to do it. I just don't like the water levels because myself. I'm not good in the water, and for some reason that translates if, into the video game. If I have to play in like a Mega Man. Uh, game and they're like, hey, it's really it's easier to start with like the water guy or the ice guy. That game is not getting played, or it's okay, getting played the hardest. You know, in Mega Man X, the first one you go after is uh, Chill Penguin. Not not me. That's the first one you go after. That it makes the game completely easy. Not fucking happening. Th there's a pattern. Not fucking happening. The first one, Chill Penguin, and then after that, boom, boom, boom. They just they fucking fall like dominoes. Not, it makes the game so easy. Not happening. Not gonna happen. Not gonna do it. <laughs> so you put it off. It's gonna be the last fucking one. You put it off though. Until I find one that I deem harder than what I'm imagining it to be. It's not the level's not even hard, it's the easiest one. It's not happening. I'm not going I'm not dealing <laughs> with the, the slip and slides. That's not how I wanna start my day. But you think get it out of the way, now everything else is cake. No. Put it, take care of the, the easy stuff so I don't have to think about it again. That's how I handle all my homework growing up. Like, oh, what's going to take the longest? I'll do that last, take care of the five-minute shit now. I do it the other way around. I take on the hardest thing first. No, because if then... this takes too long, then I'll fuck myself on all my assignments. I'd rather take care of, like, 90% of my assignments and leave the hard shit last. I, I've never had that problem, though. Oh, well, that's the way I do it. Like, I've never not finished that and then never had time for the other stuff. Well, that, that, well, the thing is, I've always finished everything, but I always liked it that if something went down, mm. at least I got <laughs> all, I got almost all my homework done. If MC if, Chris snuck in your house. And he started, like, rap battling with me. And, like, kicked your daddy in the peepee. -pee. <laughs> <laughs> right. At least you got the other stuff done. Yeah, because shit's about to get real. Right. <laughs> So that you know, that's how I how I tackle. That's how I tackle uh, Mega Man. It's crazy to me, anyway. I, I don't know. I never talked about anyone else to anyone else about this. Maybe I should. I'm always the weird one. I'm always the oddball that does. The, why'd you do it that way? I was like, because it was easier that way. And they're like, that's the hardest way to do it. And then 
I'll try it their way, and then I completely fuck it up. <laughs> but if I do it my way, I just fucking win. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. But, no, like I said, I, have, I always avoid the water levels because I myself am bad in the water. If it came down to it, if I had to defend, if I had to run from something or swim away from something in the water, I'd do better standing my ground because there's no way I'm going to get to that, get out of the water in time. I would. There's no way. I, I'd do it. I'm, I'm much better on the ground and in, and in the air. Like, it would suck, because as soon as I got out of the water, like, fucking swimming, like, tires you out. Well, definitely. Yeah, because it's like, everything is in, is in use. Right. And, and so you get out of the water, you're like, whoo! Okay, and now I gotta run more, because someone's, like, attacking me. Just start rolling. Roll for, like, five minutes to catch my breath. <laughs> exactly. What is he doing? I don't know. Just, He's like, I'm rolling, like, whoo! Ooh, just going. <laughs> no, much better on land or in the air. Well, not in the air. Falling. Much better in the air. <laughs> I mean, you don't you don't have to do anything. Like... <laughs> much better. In the air. I can I can I'm like a cat. Well, more like a mongoose. <laughs> in, in the air. In the air. <laughs> so you're just falling. <laughs> but gracefully. <laughs> I, you've never seen a small animal fall in the, through the air, then. There's nothing. There's... Gracefully. <laughs> uh, hey, what else you got? This. I, which I did see those, finally. Yeah. And they're gone. There we go. I like them in black. I, don't, I could see how you like them in white, but I like them in black. No, well, you look, it's an adult, uh, like, full-size power-up Mario, and it, I never liked the way that Mario looked like that. That's Mario. Yeah. But, no, these are shoes. Uh, yeah, Converse these, shoes. Yeah, these are uh, one-star Super Mario Brothers shoes. Gonna be this, this March, but in Japan only. Sucks. And it's going to be uh, not canvas, unfortunately. I would have liked, preferred it to really? be canvas. Is it leather? It's leather. Oh. I would have preferred canvas. You, you know what you could do now that I see it? The white ones would be better. Because what you do is you go get um, some Sharpies and fucking fill in the level. I'm not doing that. So you, you'll get someone that can do it. No, no. I'm Even if I had, okay, like an artist from Nintendo show up and mm -hmm. be like, I can do this. Right. No. Do we buy two pairs then? You buy it. That that pair, and then you buy your your. He can give pair. me a pair that he he muddied with his with his hands. Okay, I already have their best art right there. Because I'm already living with this. I'm living in eight bit world, and that's that they gotta stick to that. You could do the whole world in eight bit. Mm -hmm. You have all the background right there. I don't, I don't want it. It's too busy. It's fine. I don't want. I like this. Okay. So I'm gonna see when this comes out. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my my hardest to fucking get these shoes. Yeah, it's gonna be hard because I wear a size 13, 12 in in Chucks in Converse, uh, size 12, and you know they're only making them for Japan. So I think size 12 is gonna be hard to find. Not to mention if I find them, I imagine the cost is gonna be ridiculous. One hundred thirty five dollars. I'm calling it right now. I don't want it to be hundred like because that's shipping and everything in total. I'm saying. Bucks. Because like buying like a pair of trucks online is already like seventy some dollars. Right. And it's bullshit. So that's already the you know minimum of what you're gonna expect. Yeah, I'm expecting like over eighty. But because of what they are and that you have to import. I am getting my tax check. That's true. But like I said, the pet because of what they are and where they're coming from, I'm guessing about 135 bucks. It might be worth it. But they're really nice shoes. You think that's worth it? If I find, like... You're going to be the only one in this city wearing them, that's for sure. In this city. Yeah. I guarantee that. Yeah. People are going to look at your shoes and be like, where do I'm you I'm going to have those? to get a new belt to match it, though. A white belt. Hit it with the star on there. With the star on the buckle. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to. Or a mushroom. So, yeah, I'm going to get these shoes. Like, if I can find them... See, see what I was going to say, though, is what you want to do is people are going to see the shoes in Tucson. Mm -hmm. And what... you, you got to tell them a story. Like, how you got them. Because they're going to be like, where'd you get those shoes? Those shoes are so awesome. And you're going to be like, well, let me let, sit down with me, and I'll tell you a tale. 
No, I already told you what I'm going to do, because you mentioned doing that last night, and that's... You're missing a great opportunity. I'm gonna go like you want. You want the story on how I got these shoes. You want, you want the in. Right. Go to YouTube.com/slash Recap Attack. Right. You you subscribe to that shit. You watch every video. You like everything. You share out each video mm -hmm. to your friends, your enemies, everybody. Frenemies too. And in two weeks. You'll get an email telling you where to get them. Unless he sees this episode, then he'll know exactly <laughs> what, what, what to do. Right. Uh, but yeah, no, this this is happening. Like, I, I, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's cool, but no. I really like um, the black ones. I agree with, with the small Mario. And Luigi, I guess, is on the other side or maybe even on the other shoe. Because hmm. it um, has both. I agree with the small Mario. That's cool. Yeah. But I really like the look of the black. Oops, wrong way because I'm not used to this yet. I really like the look of the way the black looks. With the white bottom, top is black. I don't know. Mario doesn't even like... Look like. He's not even jumping. He's doing one of those like stupid walks. He's doing one of those walks. And the color scheme that Mario is in the original hmm. uh, game just doesn't look good with the black. Well, it's just like... Um, was it World 5 or 3? Like... I can't remember right now. World 5 or 3. It's just black. Or just black background. Yeah. yeah. It's just like that. Yeah, I don't like that level. Yeah, I love that level. Because it was different. It was like, oh shit, it's dark. But this Mario, is, he's going to go like wreck a Goomba's life. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one is too. He's not just not going to fall asleep oh, over there. Well, no, this one, you know, he's just... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Goomba might, might come along and just wreck his life. No. Not a Goomba. Uh, Probably a turtle. Koopa Troopa? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm getting these. Yeah, they're this pretty is, sweet. This is happening. Like I said, I'll need to get a belt to match the shoes. But Mushroom penis belt. I can't... I'm, I can't pull off a white belt, I don't think. It just, if you get a Louis Vuitton white belt, no one's gonna care. <laughs> I, I'd care. You'd care. I spent three thousand dollars on this belt. Yeah, but to go with my one hundred thirty-five dollars pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, you might care, but people are gonna see that belt and be like, "Oh my god, that's a Louis Vuitton belt. That thing is so sexy." And they're gonna look at you and be like, "You're so sexy." Then you're gonna see the shoes, and they're gonna be like, "I just came in my pants." Dude, that happens. Can I just? Already. Can I just get your phone number? That, that's my life. I've never seen that happen to you. Cause I tone it down. <laughs> Go out so if you like wore the Louis Vuitton, Vuitton, what I said would happen. Regardless of my toning it down. Right, that's what I was saying, though. Yeah. If you buy that Louis Vuitton... But I don't want that, because I, I already have to deal with it. Okay, this is what you do. You get a leather, white leather belt. Right. You. I get a Sharpie and I write LV. <laughs> exactly. All over the place. Or, even better, you could use my wife's sewing machine and etch... You think LB I can use the... her, this, her sewing? She can't even use her sewing machine. You know what's funny? Hmm. I can use her sewing machine. Yeah. I bought her a sewing machine, and she can't use it. But I can use her sewing machine, and it pisses me off. Shit happens. She likes doing things by hand for some reason. I keep forgetting we have the camera there. I've been looking at you in the no, screen the whole fine. time. it's <clears throat> fine. All right. We, sh we should move on. Let's wrap this shit up. Speaking of your wife, totally like... Like, even though I probably wasn't going to do anything, but she totally cock-blocked me with the uh, the ticket redeemer. I don't think it was a cock-block. That's a total cock-block. It was funny as hell. But <laughs> it was funny as hell, don't you remember? But it's like, you can't, there's no, like, doing anything after that. But let's face it, you weren't going to do anything. Doesn't matter. <laughs> She's going to remember you now. It's like, oh, it's that guy he, that can't have sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we won a sh we were at a Sega World Grill. Yeah. We won a shit ton of tickets. We won a thousand each. Yeah. And then Tracy had like five hundred and something. Yeah. So just fuck ton of tickets. Right. And we're like, what are we gonna do with these tickets? We buy uh Operation. Right, Operation. We ended up getting an Operation game. It was great. Yeah, it was awesome. But we had ninety left over. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're looking at what we're going to get. We're like, we'll get some small stuff, whatever. And Tracy says, and the girl in particular is pretty cute. Right. Okay. And Tracy says out loud to me, just 
get some fuzzy handcuffs so you can not have sex with Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, out loud, and the the girl behind the counter just starts laughing. So uh, the only thing left to do is to like own up to it. Okay, <laughs> so I was just like, "All right, I'll get some handcuffs to not not have sex with." And she's <laughs> like, "Is there any color that you would prefer to not have sex with?" And I'm like, "Purple, I guess, is the most non-sexual." Are these plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. I thought these were like aluminum or something. <laughs> not for ninety tickets. They work, but not on a, like a, an adult's wrist. Like, look at that. It's cut off my circulation. It's already so fucking tight. <laughs> but the fuzziness makes up for it. I guess. I'll put it on my wrist here. Let's see. Mm, yeah, that's not happening on mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I don't even think I'm that big. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, that was that. That was interesting. Fun times. Yeah. Can't do anything. Although, like... You can go back and be like, remember I'm that guy that can't have sex with Emma? Yeah. <laughs> Although, <laughs> later, okay, I mentioned, and I hope she isn't watching, because if she is watching, I... This is going to be totally offensive, but I mean ne no offense. Well, she doesn't, I'm sorry, but she doesn't seem like the person that'd be watching. Probably not. But you don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know her against over here. Uh, but she had like a thing here. Right, the herb. Okay. Maybe. It, maybe. Could have been could have been anything. She could have been a man and shaving her mustache. Okay. And then it's just like, oh she could have whatever, you know, you just shaving your mustache. Could have ran into a doorknob, you know, something like that. Yeah. But <laughs> All knows we got operation and I won. He did. He bastard. Well, I had to win. I got cock blocked. <laughs> Look, all I know is that it scared the hell out of me that one time. I fell. <laughs> <laughs> I was so into it. <laughs> and I thought I had the damn thing. <laughs> and it buzzed and I just went, ah! And I hit the ground. <laughs> I didn't think I'd do that. <laughs> I, scared, I scared a mare. <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> fucking screaming and shit just randomly randomly it was so intense i could feel the room getting thick randomly <laughs> you were staring tracy was staring i was sitting there and i was like that was in my head but it was very quiet 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 the whole time <laughs> and then i i dropped it and i hit the buzzer and it was terrible yep I would have won if I got that. May well, maybe, yeah. That was really close to you. Yeah, because we weren't even close at the end. Yeah. It was like 3,500 and you were like 27, 28? 28. 28. 28. And Tracy with her whopping, what was it, 5? 2. So I said 20, 25. 22? 22, 25? Somewhere around there, yeah. All right, what do we got here? Last one. Uh, Chrome for Android finally launches um, in beta, but it's so good... Topolsky not only set it as his default, he went into the settings and disabled the, de the <laughs> actual default, brow the original browser. Nice. So it's, he's just like, just fucking use it. And it's in beta and it still works better. It, it actually marks a little bit better uh, in tests nice. than the other one. The only problem is that there's a few like lag issues, there's a few like weird things but you know they're working that out but as far as general performance and rendering a page mm -hmm. it uh it's it's there there's just a couple things they said is weird with the font mm -hmm. uh that they just haven't implemented yet but will obviously be there by the time it's done and eventually this browser will be the browser on android there's not going to be such a thing as right Unless uh, someone rolls their own, because they are releasing the the source for Chrome mm -hmm. uh, for Android uh, into the wild, so people are going to be able to roll their own version of Chrome, uh, which they like they can because it's uh, already with the desktop version. You can roll your own version of Chrome, mm -hmm. so they're going to do that, and it's going to be great. I'm expecting like soon, like someone's going to roll a version for. Um, the older versions of Android. Yeah, hopefully. Because, uh, like, that's what they did when, the, like, 
when they made the keyboard, someone yeah. like, like, let me just take the source and roll a new version for uh, 2.1 devices. Because uh, right now, this is only available for 4.0, and just like, yeah, so you can just like slide your tabs. Yeah, I saw that. That is something I fucking need right now. The thing is, though, I've noticed, because when I had my laptop, I loved to switch between tabs, and if I had like something going on in one of them, I wanted it to keep going in, in the background, and I want that to still happen. I mean, I don't expect it for a phone, but for this, yeah, the I way, do expect The way they work is they just kind of like cache the page, and then when it yeah. comes back to it, if, there's like, if it knows that there's a change, it'll reload the page, exactly. otherwise it'll just kind of stick with it. Yeah. So, I mean, this is, no, it does look freaking sweet. Yeah, I wanted him to show the, the tabs because it, it does some stuff with the tabs that's pretty awesome. Obviously, it does tab browsing, as you can see here. You can get through tabs by swiping on the edges. Here's the tabs I have open. There's also a way to see all of your tabs by hitting the tab button. You get this oh, nice. uh, little tab here, which is it's actually perfect. Uh, quite useful. You can swipe tabs you don't want out of the way. And in fact, you can you can use multi-touch here to see you know, maybe take away one, like hide the other. Oh, wow, that's really cool. But yeah, you can just little flick them all away. Like, yeah, I don't want this tab anymore. Gone. I like that. I like how if you couldn't quite see it, you couldn't separate them, kind of like you do like in a file cabinet, and just look at them like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and this thing is kind of cool. Basically, what it is is if you tap in an area where there's a bunch of links clustered, mm -hmm. uh, it means that it doesn't work 100%. But what it'll do is it'll magnify all those links into a list for you that you can then push nice. comfortably without having to zoom in and. Then that's awesome. Like, press the right one. Right, I still have issues. Like, even if I, like, zoom in and I'll sit there and press it, for some reason it still senses the wrong one I touched. Yeah. It doesn't happen often, but it's still annoying. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, eh, fuck, damn it, no! And then I have to go back. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention okay. uh, was the thing that I didn't really read up on, but I remembered it. Okay. Was, so, Samsung and... Uh, Apple have been kind of duking it out in right. the patent war for a, a while, kind it, of all around the world. It seems like Samsung is making a bigger deal, though. Um, well, Apple is uh, is making a lot of the claims and was like, you can't have... But I meant, I meant like commercially and not just like... Oh, com in commercials, yeah. Apple will never mention Samsung. Right. Ever, because the moment they do, people will go, oh, even Apple's, like, validating Samsung. Right. Okay, so Apple will never mention them. Ever. Yeah, because Samsung's been making a bunch of jabs lately. Okay, but, yeah, they're going to do their, do their shit uh, all they want. But they've been kind of duking it out, and it's like you can't buy, uh, like, any of the Galaxy devices in Germany, or you can't buy certain ones because they're like, it looks like an iPad, or they're, right, right. they're broken out of your shit, or they had to make them change TouchWiz entirely mm -hmm. because they were just stealing uh, look and feel of iPhone mm -hmm. and iOS. Uh, but it never really was like, there were some suits in the US, mm -hmm. but it was like, you copied this patent, whatever. Now, Apple is seeking to get the Galaxy Nexus off the market. Damn. Okay. That's a good phone, too. Yeah, it's a very good phone. And they're doing it as both a jab to Samsung and a jab to Android. Right, yeah. Okay, which, it's a smart move, because part of their case was already deemed, like, in their favor. Right. By Germany. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be like, we got precedent. We already, like, fucking wrecked their shit in Germany with this right. thing. And we've added a few more. So it's kind of kind of validates mm -hmm. Apple's case. You know, that, like, well, there's precedent for Apple being right. Apple already has been shown to be right in this. And removing a product from the market is on the table. And it's like, shit, and it, get your Galaxy Nexus while you still can. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Is that is a shame. I'm not gonna be able to. But fuck. Yeah, I mean, I hope it doesn't happen just because the Nexus is such a good phone. Yeah. And it, it's such a competitive phone mm -hmm. that, 
like I was gonna get it for the longest time. I mean, obviously now I have the 4S. Right. But I wanted to get it. Uh, I still want that damn thing. Pretty bad, and I hope it doesn't go away because it it can, it has the possibility to make Apple really compete. And Apple's been yeah. trying. Okay, they did. Well, some I mean, stuff. look, they're, they're, it, it's gotten to the point to where Apple's like, I don't want this on the market. Yeah. Okay. Because now they're on my turf. Right, exactly. Okay, and as far as I know, they haven't sought to uh, remove it anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. Just, they're starting with the U.S. Samsung's a uh, Korean company, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I haven't read much into about what the other claims are. Right. I'm sure a few of them are kind of like silly. I'm sure. But, uh... Yeah, it's going to be nuts. I hope it doesn't happen, but uh, we'll see. Especially since there's like no other 4.0 devices. But uh, I think we're done. Yeah, we're totally done. We actually went over the mark again. Yeah, we did. And Fucked. I'm fucking starving. Me too. I'm fucking like hungry. My stomach hurts. Mm. Mine's been yelling at me since we started. Oh, God. But we should, do, we should wrap it up so we can go eat. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, so uh, that's the show. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow us uh, on Twitter uh, at Recap Attack. Follow me at Arc Monster. At I'm on the go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this and that. This and that. Enjoy we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, so long.